On January 7th, 2024, six of the largest and fastest sailing yachts ever constructed departed Brest on the west coast of France for a sailing challenge so extreme it has only been accomplished by four people in the history of sailing. To sail a multi-hull around the world, non-stop, alone. And these aren't just any multi-hulls, but the biggest and fastest ever built. Fully foiling, 32 meters long, 23 meters wide, weighing about 15 tons, and able to reach speeds approaching 50 knots on the open ocean. Only two decades ago, sailing around the globe in under 80 days seemed nearly impossible, but technological advances have enabled a series of previously unthinkable records, in some cases cutting weeks off previous records, with the current solo record now at just over 42 days. Jimmy Spithill, two-time America's Cup champion, caught a ride with Francois Gabat a few years back, and here's what he had to say. Last three hours, extreme, frightening, fast. <laughs> We're actually kind of amazed we can still get up on the foil and fly. Ça pas dû lui arriver souvent de faire 80 miles en ligne droite à plus de 40 nœuds de nuit. It's just incredible. Pitch black, one in the morning, you know, averaging sort of 43, 44 knots of speed on an autopilot. How Francois is able to do this day after day and even sleep is mind-blowing. These mind-blowing monsters have a total of six foils, with two on each hull, with four doing the bulk of the work at any given time, two on the leeward float and two on the main hull. For a deeper dive on how foils work, check out this video linked above. The foil in the center of the main hull is called a ray foil, which has an elevator flap on the aft edge to control lift. It can provide upward lift to raise the main hull in lighter conditions, but also provide downward lift to add riding moment in heavier conditions. Foils produce more lift the faster the boat is going, so the foiling height is controlled by trimming the ray foil to an average speed in the expected conditions. The autopilot attempts to maintain this speed by steering the boat towards a beam reach to power up in lulls, while steering away from a beam reach to depower in gusts. This enables the sailor to nap for 10, 20, or 30 minutes at a time, but also requires incredible confidence in their boat and equipment. The foils provide the largest advantage versus non-foiling boats in moderate conditions, for example, between 20 and 30 knots of breeze with seas under 2 meters. Once the wind and seas get above this, the advantage versus non-foiling boats diminishes. But even if the speed advantage diminishes in high winds, the sailors of these full-foiling monsters say they are still much safer than the non-foiling boats that came before them, because the foils create more riding moment the faster the boat goes, versus older designs, which only had a fixed amount of writing moment and were subject to spectacular cap sizes. Right now, the leaders are in the Southern Ocean and covering more than 700 nautical miles every 24 hours. This is ridiculously fast, but still well below the solo record pace of Francois Gabart, who managed 851 nautical miles in 24 hours. The skippers know they are unlikely to achieve that pace in the Southern Ocean, so to break any records, they will need to set a faster pace in the Atlantic. This will be very difficult, given the fixed start date of the race, as compared to Francois Gabart, who was able to depart in an optimal weather window. Unlike the Vendée Globe, the skippers in the Arkea All-Team Challenge are allowed outside weather routing assistance. These boats are so large, fast, and powerful that it's unreasonable to expect the sailors to keep them on their feet while simultaneously strategizing about the weather, so using outside weather routing enables them to focus more on boat performance. But whether records are set or not, with six participating boats, this race stands to increase the number of multi-hulls who have successfully circumnavigated with solo sailors by 150%, assuming all finish. But no fully foiling multi-hull has ever successfully circumnavigated to date, as the oceans are unfortunately littered with foil-destroying debris. And as we speak, SVR Lazartique, shown here, is heading to Cape Town for repairs. So even finishing for any of these boats will be a tremendous accomplishment. If you want to learn more about how foils work, Watch this next video.